So this is going to be a combination video of a review and unboxing here of an ESP SMTE smart controller. Uh, this is the Gen 2, the original, uh, the original ones come in a brown box, the newer ones are going to come with this. Uh, this is a three year warranty. They're also going to have this uh, EPA water sense approval uh, little water droplet on there, which is really important if you're looking at a controller where your city is going to give you a kickback or a rebate of some sort for having a water or a water sense approved controller excuse me this controller will go it will start with a base of four zones and it will expand up to 22 zones uh it will take rainbird three station modules and rainbird six station modules i'll just give you a peek of what these modules look like the six it will take up to three modules so three six station modules uh, you have 12, 18, plus the 4 on the starter zone will bring you up to 22 zones, any combination of the modules. Um, modules are fairly expensive. This controller itself is going to be um, in the $300 plus range. The modules, like the three stations, are going to be around 50 bucks, and you're going to be able to find the six station modules uh, somewhere around 100 bucks, maybe half that price but give or take from depending on what retailer you're buying them and where you're buying them uh you can see the six station has six posts three station has three posts they both have a locking tab i'll show you where they go in here when i open up this controller the nice thing about this controller is it does come with this weather station uh the panel is backlit they are a little complicated to control or a little complicated to program you program on uh, but most of these controllers are going to, the smart controllers anyways, are going to program on soil type, uh, type of turf grass, type of sprinkler, and the precipitation rate. Uh, it's going to give you about an average. Uh, this one does have you fine-tuning on each individual zones. Uh, it does have watering windows and such. But uh, it's it's not too bad once you get through it. I do have a programming video and I will uh, pop a link in the description of the video as well. You can see this comes with a locking cabinet. It is locked right now. Just get one of these keys free. It does come with two keys. Like I said, this display is backlit. Once you plug it in, you'll unlock these features. Uh, there is a system restore. You are able to save uh, the contractor defaults in here, which is handy. So if you have people at townhomes or whatever that like to get in there and uh, program it. It does have a quick programming guide. Now, I know this Gen 2 has a quick setup. I, I've heard from my uh, distributors and dealers. I haven't done the quick setup on this. I've set up the original models. You know, you're going to get some wire nuts and, you know, some mounting hardware there. These modules, very simply, you always want to put the higher station modules, like the six stations, you always want to put those first before the three station modules. So you put them in there, lock them like that once you plug it in. It will uh, get all set up there for you. And does this one... So it must come with... Uh, this box, I'm going to guess, is just the cord. Because it has an internal transformer. Or this is actually the mounting bracket. It may not come with the cord, which sucks. Yeah, this is the beastly mounting bracket. So it gives you a mounting bracket. Um, not going to play with it, adjust it. But this arm comes out and this arm uh, even folds out, mounts. So you have about a foot away from a side of a building or off a deck. A lot of times they'll put these on a post. It is a really good controller at saving water. It still keeps everything really green while saving that water. Uh, I do... A lot of times I recommend these for my townhome customers that are going to be installing 
Um, they're going to be installing this somewhere in a townhome complex. This water, this weather station, it, it does, I believe, temperature and humidity as well as it has a tipping cup. You can kind of hear it in there. And that actually measures the amount of rainfall. Uh, you do set up this by, oh no, that's supposed to be the cord. No, this is just the screen for the uh, tipping cup rent weather station. Kind of bummer, I didn't ask my distributor about a cord because I didn't know, but I'll grab a cord from somewhere and put it in there. But anyways, um, the weather station mounts, it is, it is a fairly large weather station um, in comparison to some of the other ones. The Weathermatic has a smaller weather station, but um, I've heard more issues with it. I've never had issues with this weather station. It doesn't take batteries. It is hardwired into the controller, so that's one of the things. And this controller also needs no subscription or no internet connection to do what it's going to do. A lot of the smart controllers are either going to need an internet subscription, some cell phone subscription, or they are going to um, need some kind of subscription service that you're going to have to pay for yearly. That's why I recommend these a lot of times for townhomes, um, you know, big unit apartment buildings that not necessarily are going to have um, internet connection or want to pay a subscription fee. That's what's great. The weather station is contained within the unit and it does all the adjust adjustments based off uh, the area code or the zip code and the, the weather station itself. Uh, for a residential homeowner that would have uh, internet connection, I would highly recommend the Rachio 2 controller. That is a uh, up to 16 zones. They have an 8 zone and a 16 zone controller on that. Um, highly recommend that for a residential homeowner. But this is more, unless you don't have internet, uh, which, watching this video on the internet, but maybe, maybe for, you know, some elderly people that don't have the internet that they still want to take a advantage of a rebate form this controller may be for them this controller is definitely for a lot of townhomes i can mount this on a four by four post off off a water supply box out in a field where the controller is mounted i can mount it on the side of a building side of a deck that's really what i like this controller to do um I'll just get another look like i said this face panel is it is backlit um, you do have the four buttons here instead of um, push buttons. You know, they're nice little. It's a nice unit. I have had a little bit of problems if you set. You have to be very careful in which you set the times. If you set two watering windows and one is in the AM and one is in the PM, you have to have the AM watering window first. Other than the PM, if you do some funky things, you'll confuse the controller and it will water at times it's not supposed to be water. But otherwise, if you set your AM watering window and then your PM watering window and make sure they go in that sequence, it is fine. It runs just fine. Um, other than a cord not coming with it, Rainbird, get with it. I want a cord with it. They give a cord with their little shoddy controllers that they came out, the SM, the TM, the TM. 12 controllers that came out this year but anyways the ESP SMT great controller for commercial sites townhomes uh, apartment buildings anywhere where you're not gonna have that internet connection uh, otherwise its drawbacks are you know some of those internet based controllers are a lot great you can use your phone uh, with an app as a controller um, but this one is not gonna cost a subscription for the cost of the controller and the weather station, it's in the fair amount of range as the regular ESP um, controller was the ESP. I forget what the ESP controller is, but um, it's a regular ESP modular controller with a weather, with a rain sensor is going to be within twenty five forty dollars difference of this with the weather station. So that is just a great controller um, to get your water sense approval. I like it better than um, a Hunter Pro C with the solar sink. 
Uh, the solar sinks just have a lot of funky options and they don't really adjust uh, per zip code. They only have four areas. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the one I recommend for those sites without internet connection that aren't residential homes. Uh, residential homes, I do recommend that Rachio 2 controller and I'm hoping to get, I, um, I'll get a link on the Rachio 2 if I do a review and that's what I'm going to put in my house if I don't put a two-wire system because I might have a two-wire system at my house just because I'm an irrigation guy and would want to do something super technical like that. But if you have any questions, if you have any irrigation questions, feel free to shoot me, hit me a thumbs up. Um, you know, ask me questions about this controller, any other irrigation questions. I got other irrigation videos. I'll put me programming the Gen 1 controller. I'll put a link there on the bottom, like I said before. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Like I said, if you do have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them.